President of the Federation of Independent Trade Unions of Guyana, Carvel Duncan, recognized that private teachers, customer service personnel, and many other groups of working class people are not unionized. He was at the time speaking at an event organized by the Guyana Agricultural and General Workers Union to mark the central anniversary of trade unionism. No one can ask the question, why is the security service not organized? Why is the private education inst institutions are not organized? Could you not organize the domestic workers? They don't want to organize. And we have all these calling on self calling centers, which have thousands of persons, <coughs> and they're still not organized. Another burning issue highlighted was the fact that the Labour Ministry was dismantled in 2015 and replaced by a department. There's no longer a Ministry of Labour. The ministry which existed up to May 2015 has now been relegated to a department after more than 60 years of existence. It seems to us that government is vehemently opposed to a Labour Ministry as could be seen by the disagreement with an opposition-sponsored motion to re-establish the Labour Ministry. Meanwhile, Hubert Nathaniel Crescillo was remembered for his contributions, which led to the formation of the country's first union, the British Guyana Workers' Union. These laws have to be fought for. They were not given to us. When the struggles were marked by several dismissals, acts of discrimination and vendetta towards workers. Crucial and others soldier on. The establishment of that union has led to the regularization of countless others which have advocated for better wages and the benefits of workers over the years. Rupa Sinaroin, The Evening News.